All right, welcome to Velocity Podcast. Today I have Riley Mitchell, a local realtor who is killing it on social media. And I wanted to just talk with you about how social media is a big part of a marketing plan, especially if you are up and coming. Like you're not um, weighed down with all these traditional marketing, mm-hmm. uh, you know, types of things that we normally would do because he's so young and new to the game mm-hmm. and uh, doing amazing things. So welcome. Thank you for Thank being you. on Velocity. Yeah. And uh, do you want to just kind of introduce yourself? For sure. Yeah. So uh, like you said, Riley Mitchell, I'm a local realtor with the crew real estate. I've been in real estate for three years now, licensed for a full year as of uh, November of this year. Um, and yeah, like you said, young, hungry and uh, trying to innovate in my ways of uh, marketing. Yeah. So I asked you on this podcast because um, the other day when you were talking, you mentioned that social media has played a role in helping sell houses. Do you want to dive a little deeper into like how that actually is? Is it what we're seeing all the time uh, with the video elements? Is it other things? Certainly. Yeah. So social media, a lot of the time people, obviously, you know, but people think it's entertainment. Yeah. Um, For me, uh, posting videos of houses, aside from realtor.ca, it's the number two driver for views on houses that I'm selling. Um, And uh, I find that when I post those videos, I often get messages and comments from people that are interested in a house like that. Yeah. And then I turn that into uh, bringing them into that house and uh, trying to sell it to them, obviously. So Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Because I was talking to someone, a realtor the other day, and they're like, I don't know if I should spend the money on a videographer. Like, does it even work? And I wasn't the videographer, so I felt free to give my opinion. It's yeah. not like I'm trying to get your money. So yeah. yes, it works, I swear. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, why wouldn't you? Like, have you ever compared your listings? And it wasn't, it didn't seem like to be like a super educated opinion. Mm-hmm. So you're saying that it can drive views, which potentially drive sales. Totally. And like when I post a video and I get a message and then I can get them into a showing, that's one showing that I wouldn't get otherwise. Right. Yeah. And I get that all the time. Every, every house I post, I get messages about. So it's Alrighty. super valuable. Yeah. So does it have to be like high quality video? Like I see the drones, I see the crew, or is it like, can you pop on your phone and do a little more organic or do you do a mix of both? You can kind of do a mix of both, but there's definitely value in doing it either, either way you do it. It's uh, valuable to do it strategically and know what you're doing and do it purposely in a, in a certain way. Yeah. Awesome. And when you look around, um, at the competition, whether it's locally or on a bigger scale, do you see people doing this or is this like a trend people are moving towards? Because like, considering how many realtors we have in the Brantford area and then let alone like going outside to Hamilton or the GTA or whatever, Mm -hmm. I am not seeing like my whole feed isn't houses. So a part of me is like, okay, there must be a small percentage that's taking advantage of like this new marketing. Totally. Like, yeah, like you said, there's 600 real estate agents in Brantford, hundred thousand in Toronto. So there's a lot of us. Um, and not all of us are doing, uh, the new era kind of stuff. Um, but there's definitely a lot that are switching to it now because they see the value in it. Um, yeah. And not only that, but the clients see the value in it. Uh, so when I talk to clients um, about potentially selling their house, um, one of the big driving factors for me is that I do this this modern marketing mm-hmm. um, and others just kind of don't. And there's a lot of them that don't. But. Yeah. Interesting. What's another way? I know we've talked about groups uh, and just other uh, conversations where you're kind of able to build relationships through Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. You want to explain kind of your strategy behind that loosely? (laughs) For sure. Yeah. Uh, Facebook groups are interesting, especially in Brantford. We've got we've got a lot uh, of like ask anything Brantford, Mm -hmm. obviously those kinds. Um, And a lot of the time people go on there looking for help. Uh, so what I kind of try to do is bring them some kind of value, uh, some kind of help that I can provide for them, yeah. um, have them reach out to me and then, uh, and get that message. And I have a, a large sphere of people that I'm uh, grateful for that often are tagging me in that post and clients that I've worked with before that are commenting testimonials of success stories that we've uh, built together. So, um, that's one of the uh, driving factor for my business too, is, is those Facebook groups. And there's a lot of value in being in those and being an active member of those and, Mm -hmm. It's being an active member of the community just online. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So when it comes to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, what would you like if you had to choose one to really focus on? What would you choose for your business? For sure. Uh, I think a lot of the time the Instagram, TikTok kind of can go together a little bit. Uh, Like the Instagram reels and TikToks are very similar. Mm -hmm. I get a lot more uh, attention, I I would say, on TikTok. But on Instagram, uh, I get a lot more messages which is great. Like that's yeah. what I'm looking for is yeah. comments, messages, people engaging with the post and the co- and the, the house itself. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, more of the sales come from the, the Instagram, I'd say, which is great. But. Okay. 
So, um, so you could say that in the past, you can definitely attribute um, like Instagram or any social media to helping you get the sale. Totally. Okay, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> it works, I'm telling you. Yeah. Um, okay, so when it comes to your marketing, do you only focus on houses or do you have another strategy or like strategies that you kind of mingle together? For sure. So right now I'm more so focused on housing uh, or houses specifically. Like I've been uh, only in this for a little bit of time. I need to uh, kind of adapt and, and get into the more sales of my services but that's yeah. where the facebook i think groups kind of come in where people are looking for specific things and help with specific things mm -hmm. i can kind of talk about the services that i specifically provide um but yeah definitely marketing your your services are super important too and i don't do enough of that i do more so um market the property yeah and uh and then that's a result too when i like i said when i meet with clients and i can show here these are the things i do for the properties and this is the success that it's shown okay awesome and um so when it comes to social media, like everyone's on it, people spend like two hours a day on like Facebook alone um, and they're scrolling. Mm -hmm. So you, do you have like a separate strategy for Instagram and Facebook and TikTok or do you just kind of like meld it? It's just like, hey, you know what, the videos work period, we're throwing it up there on every, across all the platforms and see what happens. Uh, so I kind of have a specific, not necessarily strategy, but each uh, app, has their own algorithm, as you know, um, and often editing the video in that specific app and making it in that mm -hmm. specific app, the algorithm pushes it further. Uh, so specifically in Instagram, one of the strategies that I do, keep them short, as short as possible, yeah. something that drives the attention right in the beginning. Um, and it's um, the important pieces are in the, the beginning. And then if someone wants to stay and watch the whole video, they can. Yeah. My biggest goal with those uh, is afterwards looking at the insights and seeing that for example, like 80% of the views are people that don't follow me. And yeah. I think that's super valuable for me to know as well, um, that these are new people that are looking at houses or looking at whatever, yeah. uh, that aren't, you know, my friends or whoever's on yeah. there, right? Yeah, you know what, yeah, all those like kind of um, metrics are so important, even watch time, because mm -hmm. you can see like, oh, people, you know, it's not just about, hey, I had 1,000 views or 80,000 views. It's like, okay, let's dive a little deeper. Because I like that too. I like being in other people's feeds, not mm -hmm. just like friends who are going to support me no matter what. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. I liked how you mentioned something about, um, well, what I would call from Gary Vee, who mm -hmm. would say it's the giving economy. Like mm -hmm. instead of being like, well, I'll tell you the answer, but you have to like sign the dotted line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have more of an open approach, like and more of an educational approach, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um do you want to kind of just briefly touch on why you think that's so important? For sure. I think that, you know, I'm, I'm in this, like I said, I'm fresh into this, um, somewhat anyway, and, uh, providing the value is super, super important regardless of whatever business you're in. Um, and a lot of the time, like I said before, the people that are on there are looking for help in situations. And a lot of clients that I meet, they're looking for help in situations. I had a client recently, uh, was dealing with some health issues, was super stressed out, didn't know what to do with how yeah. the house and anything like that. Um, and I can kind of come in and take care of it all and kind of take the weight off of those people. And I think that's super important. I think mm -hmm. as a mentality as well, like I'm in this not just to, not for my own business, not just to help myself, but then this is the mentality of the crew as well, uh, is to help the people that we're working with and help each other as we work together. And I just, yeah. I think that's, I think that's super important ethics and morals to have in general. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. In general, I think it just makes you a nice person. And then also it's like kind of the differentiating factor, mm -hmm. you know, like For why sure. should I choose you or you? Well, this person's with me even after the sale of the house totally. or like when I'm overwhelmed. Totally. So I love that. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, any uh, words of wisdom to new or old people who are not doing anything like with social media when it comes to marketing at all? Start. <laughs> Just start. <laughs> yeah, the basic thing. I mean, like you never really know what you're doing until you start doing it. Uh, and people are kind of afraid to get their face and their voice out there. Yeah. I, uh, I've never been one to really care about any of that. Um, and I think it's super important, like I've said and explained, like the reasons why it's super important to do these things. Yeah. Um, so just start, just do it, I think is the number one thing. I love it. That's what I literally always tell everyone. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, okay, so the last question I always ask my podcast guests is what's on your career bucket list? For sure. So I currently sell real estate. I want to get into more of the investment side of real estate personally. Um, I'm 
that we've talked about, I'm young here uh, and I've got a lot of time left yeah. to, to get into that kind of stuff. I want to eventually be doing, you know, flipping houses and, and investing and having rental properties and stuff like that. Um, and that's really a goal for me. And that's a, that's a short term goal as well as a long term goal. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, how can they follow you? Yeah, it's Riley Mitch, R-E-I-L-L-Y-M-I-T-C-H on all platforms. Uh, feel free to give me a follow, message me if you need any houses information or uh, know anyone that needs help with anything uh, regarding real estate. All right, awesome. All right, thanks for watching this episode of Velocity Podcast. Thank you for coming on and spending some time with me. And uh, see you later.